Hey, boo. Part of my role within the church, it is to get people once again engaged in missions. And then that goes into buildings for churches, sanctuaries, schools, developments in those areas, the compassionate ministry side. But on my side, it's just to get people to recognize, recognize boy, we can be part of this. This is, this is us, our church, our global church. was out of the blue and uh, we heard later that God had been preparing people's hearts and especially in the pastoral uh, ministry to link up with Uganda because of calling his parents years ago uh, being here but on our side it was so exciting to see that somebody was interested in sharing their centennial with Uganda and the idea of investing in a development of a church in a faraway place, a place that they'd never been before, was really exciting for us. We're always looking for that kind of uh, support, but to actually see it and to feel it was just fantastic. And they were able to come to Mutungo, uh, which is in the capital city of uh, Uganda, and Kampala, and we were able to develop a church center, which is really important, and as the countries are developing, those centers are really critical for us. In many areas we have uh, schools, wells, clinics, and churches in those centers, and for our Kampala, we had only had one other center. And so this gave us a second center in the capital city and it was a really big boost for both the church and for us within missions to feel that uh, partnership of not only offices somewhere, but congregations, that congregations had reached themselves across. It was a big, big deal for us. I guess for me, what was so exciting is all the kids that were sponsored. Uh, Central alone has sponsored about 200 kids in Uganda and this is the largest group we have of you know one church sponsoring all these kids and it's been neat wherever we've built churches in the last three years there's been interest of sponsoring kids in those areas so we have kids sponsored in the north we have kids sponsored in central we have kids now sponsored in the eastern part so we're really thrilled and even with the TAP program just the interest in the AIDS uh, clients that we have in their lives and wanting to be part of understanding, having that compassion for those that are uh, the vulnerable. That has been very, very heartwarming for us.
I'd just like to say a very big thank you because the groups that, six groups now that have come out have been amazing groups. A wonderful representation of the church. Makes me excited to get to know the rest of the church. And so we just want to say a very big thank you and you have shown a huge and generous heart to the Ugandan church and to us as a family. And we really covet your friendships, we covet your prayers, and we are so, so grateful to all the things that you've done, all the things you've brought out to share with the people. Truly amazing. We thank you so much. stories of that there's these flea markets and markets that go on within the church to try to raise money and, and there's little programs and individuals sell things and do that. That kind of expansion of what's going on in Uganda back from Central Community is really exciting for us. And when people are coming and they're saying we've been thinking about this for the last year, that's very touching for us. And what's exciting for me and kind of mind-blowing is that the congregation and the church itself participates in sending people. It's not just that the guys pull out the money out of their savings, the church itself invests in the groups coming. And that's a huge deal, actually mind-blowing, that they are, they as a congregation or as the management of the congregation have seen that as part of the ministry of the church. And that is a positive, super positive thing for us. And we've met several of the ministerial staff. I can say sorry for some of them. But... <laughs> Let me talk about the senior pastor for a moment. No. <laughs> they love us. And they love Uganda. And they love missions. And, and this is fantastic. I mean, it really is affirming. And this is so encouraging for us that we have a church that ministers from the church, from the senior pastor on down, are engaged in coming to Uganda is unique, very unique. And that you've got a mission program that is cultivating this mindset of missions actively, not only just in Sunday School material, but come and see, is really encouraging for us. So we're very, very appreciative and very thankful. I know the pastor has promised a 50-year commitment, or it was five, eh? <laughs> but 50 years, and so we're very happy. Uh, I don't know how long he's planning to live at the speed he's going, but we're, we're very, very happy for that. So we're just very thankful. <laughs> Tolagele, tolagele, 
Huse tola gele ma, tola gele, tola gele. Huse tola, tola gele, tola gele, tola gele. tola gele, tola gele, tola gele. Huse tola, tola gele ma, tola gele, tola gele, tola gele, tola gele. Wosa tola gele, tola gele, tola gele. Huse tola, huse tola gele. Hematu, huse tola gele, tola gele ma, tola gele, tola gele.